everybody. Can you say hello? Hi. <laughs> we Hi. have another Hi. little guest appearance from Hi. my favorite guy. Guy. Right? Guy. Guy. <laughs> Guy. He is very, very excited. So we are going to get right into it. Guy. Now, I don't know if you can tell Guy. from looking at his face, Guy. but somebody loves to color, right? You love coloring? So, we are going to read The Day the Crayons Quit. Right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Should we read this, Dash? No. No, we shouldn't read it? I think we should. I think you do want me to read it. Ready? Let's start. The day the crayons quit. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. See his name? That's right, there's his name. There's his name to Duncan. It starts with the letter D. D for Duncan. D. And D for Dash. <laughs> All right. <gasps> hey, Duncan. It's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Red? Wow. What do you think, Dash? What color is next? <gasps> Dear Duncan, all right, listen, I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes and dragons and wizards' hats, but it, it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside of the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it! Your very new friend, Purple Crayon. <laughs> what do you think, Dash? What do you think? Do you like this? The dragon? The wizards? Can you show everybody? The dragons and the wither wizards. And you see the grapes? Duncan is very good at drawing. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Dear Duncan, I'm tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I'm also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It's not fair that Brown gets to sit in all the bears, ponies, and puppies while the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky. And wheat. And let's be honest. When was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend, beige crayon. Hey, yeah, show everybody the beige crayon. Poor beige crayon. Uh, oh, is he sad? Sad. Yeah, he's sad. <gasps> oh. <sighs> Duncan, gray crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things? Such big animals? Huh. 
baby penguins are gray, you know? So are very tiny rocks. Pebbles. How about you do one of those once in a while to give me a break? Hmm? Your very tired friend. Gray crayon. Is that an elephant? Yeah. You see a penguin? Yeah. I'm gonna show everybody. Oh, you see the little penguin down there? Uh -huh. We've got an elephant, a rhino, and a hippopotamus. They are really big animals. Dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the paper you are using me on. White. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to color snow or to fill in empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend, white crayon. And right here it says, white cat in the snow by Duncan. Can you see the cat? I know it's hard to see, right? <gasps> cat, what sound does a cat make? Meow, meow. Let's show everybody. Can you guys see the white cat? It's very hard to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no. Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colors of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, black crayon. Mm. <laughs> Hi. Who's this? Is that a rainbow? No. No? I think it is. Mm -hmm. And there's a black beach ball. And these guys are playing with it. Yeah, let's show everybody. <gasps> Whoa. Hi. Do you see? Or a black crayon. Yeah, there's a guy. Alright, let's turn the page. <gasps> Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One is to say I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring, coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write is for my friends, yellow crayon and orange crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel that they are the color of the sun. <laughs> Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. Green Crayon? What did Green Crayon draw? Dinosaurs, and crocodiles, and trees, and frogs. Wow. Look, frog. Yeah, what sound does a frog make? Croak, 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 croak. I think that's a toad. Yeah. And frogs go ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove that I am the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your happy farm coloring book. In case you forgot, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. 
I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal, I'm the true color of the sun. Yellow crayon. Do you see yellow crayon? Yeah, that's yellow. And that's orange crayon. All right, let's show everybody. There we go. Yellow and orange crayon, because they are in a fight over who is the proper color of the sun. Do you think yellow is the color of the sun or orange is the color of the sun? No. You don't know? What do you guys think? Is it yellow or is it orange? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you guys write to me and tell me what color you think the sun is? Yellow or orange? What color do you guys use? <gasps> Dear Duncan, I see the yellow crayon already talked to you. The big whiner. Anyway. Could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we are no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun because on Thursday, January 26th, I believe, you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. <laughs> Aren't you glad I'm here? <laughs> your pal and the real color of the sun, Orange Crayon. There we go. See those pages that Duncan colored? Wow. Duncan's a very good colorer. Isn't he? Hi. Yeah. <gasps> Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year, and the year before that, and the year before that. I really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Oh, look how tiny he is. Is Blue Crayon so small? He's so tiny now. He's been used too much. Yeah. Whoa, look at this. Look at all of those beautiful things that Duncan has colored blue. Mmm. Dash, do you like blue? Do you like blue? Yeah. Yeah? Think it's okay? Duncan! Okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I am a girl's color, isn't it? Well, I got news for you, kid. There's no such thing as a girl's color. And speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me some time to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. I really love this monster. I think that monster is so cool. What about you? You like the dinosaur? Dinosaurs are a big hit in this house, aren't they? No. Yeah. Oh, and look, there's a pink princess that it, Duncan's little sister drew. She did do a very go good job staying inside the lines, didn't she? Hey, Duncan. It's me, Peach Crayon. Why did 
you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I make it. <laughs> I'm too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have on any underwear. <laughs> How would you like it if you were made to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend. Peach crayon. Now, do you guys peel off the wrapper when you have crayons? Oh no, you do? Then all of your crayons are going to feel like poor peach crayon here. They're going to be like, I'm naked, I'm scared to go out. <laughs> oh, well. Poor Duncan just wanted to color, and of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. All of those letters are ready. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A. Coloring. Wow. What do you think, Dash? Frog. There's a frog. What else is there? Frog. Another frog over here. Yeah. Did Duncan listen to all of his crayon friends? I think he did. Wow. Got a pink dinosaur and a very neatly colored purple dragon. We have a red elephant and a brown bear. We have a little white cat in color. The ocean here or sea is green. We have a blue fire truck. A little, look at those little penguins and a big orange whale. Oh, and look, there's a princess flying an airplane. How cool is that? Airplane. How cool is that? And a horse. Do you see the horse? Yeah. And then a monkey over here. I think this is a great picture, don't you? Great Mm-hmm. Wow. All right, let's show everybody a big close-up of this great drawing that Duncan did. So Duncan's teacher gave him an A for coloring and an A plus for creativity. Wow. Isn't that so nice? Let's show everybody. <gasps> Whoa! That's like a crayon that I grew up with where you had like all these different colors on it. It was great. All right, everybody. Well, that is the end of story time today. I hope that you had so much fun with us getting all of our colors and learning all about the crayons. And I hope that you will all treat your crayons well so that they don't quit. Wow. Isn't that a great drawing? All right. So I will be back here tomorrow at 4.30. If you have any wow. requests for books, then just send me a message and I will do my best to read it for you. Wow. Hopefully I will have it. And if not, I am to order in all of the books that you guys have requested and just sometimes takes a little while with everything that's going on but yeah i hope to see you all back tomorrow i had a great time yeah. reading with you today <laughs> and yeah. i hope you have no. a great night no. all right bye can you say bye bye Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for watching.